for Los Gonzalez, and mm -hmm. we continue to wait patiently. Just wait and wait just for fall wait. to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, it's not going to be for another few weeks at least. Okay. Uh, but at least we have this breeze that's helping to take a little bit of the edge off the heat, right? Although it's still on the steamy okay. side. So the breeze. A warm is, breeze. The, uh, the summer breeze that still continues. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's exactly right. As we look from our Biscayne Bay camera, Miami, we are seeing the breeze also carrying in some clouds, although there's plenty of sunshine to keep us warm. As Elliot just mentioned and we're seeing a mix of sun and clouds from our Key West camera and some showers moving in off the Atlantic from east to west around parts of Bay Harbor Islands, Miami Beach. These are fast moving showers. So already moving into North Miami near Hard Rock Stadium, Miramar and also just west of Miami Shores and along 95 near downtown Miami. So if you're headed out for lunch, make sure you have your umbrella and minor coastal flooding is still possible for the Keys today along the low lying areas and next high tide will be around 4 p.m. Look at the wind right now cranking out of the east, 14 to 22 miles per hour, and gusts as high as 25 to 28. So it's blustery, great kite flying weather if you're able to go out and do that. But right now we're talking mid to upper 80s in Broward, Dayton through the Keys. And look at these feels like temperatures. It feels like the upper 90s. It even felt like the hundreds just earlier today. Meanwhile, on the west coast, we're seeing 40s and 50s across the Four Corners region, even some snow across parts of Colorado. Winter tree precipitation in the Pacific Northwest and then we have the warm 80s across the Gulf Coast states and parts of Texas high pressure unfortunately providing for the Santa Ana winds and also relatively dry conditions leading to those wildfires of parts of California in the meantime we're seeing plenty of rain stretching from Texas through parts of the Gulf Coast states even through the Midwest and the Great Lakes region we're seeing plenty of precipitation there along the front tropical storm Ophelia moving to the southeast five miles per hour this is not a threat to us not not a threat to the U.S. Forecast to become a Category 1 hurricane as it takes a dip to the south and to the northeast. Into the weekend could be a Category 1 hurricane, but then an area of low pressure by Sunday, and then we'll have to watch it for areas over in Europe. But in terms of our weather, we're going to continue with the breeze through tomorrow with those fast-moving showers and stormy tropical disturbance currently near Puerto Rico, moves to the Bahamas, and then heads our way, bringing all that moisture and also more clouds and storms around likely as we get into Thursday, but especially Especially Friday, Saturday, and Sunday could be quite soggy and unsettled. For today, 90 degrees, sun and breeze with passing showers, and we'll see a high risk of rip currents starting today around 5 p.m. through likely Thursday morning because of dangerous swimming conditions. It's best to avoid going in the water. Small craft caution for boaters too. Seas 4 to 7, choppy on the bays, and tonight we'll see the 80s, very warm overnight. Breezy beaches and some brief showers, so breeze staying with us with highs right around 90 through tomorrow and then a better chance of clouds and some storms developing as we head into Friday and the weekend with highs in the upper 80s.